how did we not die? I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here in Forza Horizon 4 on the mainland today to do another drift build. That magical rotary sound that I love from Torque Drift, we're going to try and build today here in Forza Horizon 4. So, we are going to be doing this FD RX7, which has a couple cool body kits to do. I know I've uh, teased about this car before um, on one of my long long ago episodes but today we're going to do a full drift build full specs everything and uh getting in the nitty gritty of it all so first we're going to start off by uh of course checking out the y bodies so we do have the original y body that we saw in horizon 3 and in forza 7 but then we have the y body that i love the most which doesn't change the rear too much but it gives it that amazing front from the uh older cars which mad mike with that uses as well which is an amazing look so we're going to use that today and then uh we're going to go to a single scroll turbo we're not going to be using the uh twin turbos that come on the car we're going to keep the stock motor for right now we may go to a quad rotor if we cannot uh get the power we want out of this car right here right now so we're of course we're going to uh throw that rock buddy wing on there and uh we're going to have to uh, throw the suspension on before we do any type of wheels just so that we can get a glance of what it's going to look like. Drop it on uh, drift suspension and then uh, go take a look at the wheels. We're going to throw sport tires on it for right now. Got to make sure we get our tire widths and stuff set. 245s in the front. Uh, we're going to have 275s in the rear. And then four wheels, I'm not really sure what types of wheels I'm feeling for this RX-7. Although I did kind of like these right here. I think we're going to go with those for right now. Um, they look pretty, uh, pretty sweet. We're going to bump them up to 17s in the front. And uh, we'll just go 18s all the way around. 18s all the way around that looks really aggressive so now we got to get into the nitty gritty of getting all the parts installed we're probably gonna do this as a full build uh max power if we can and then uh maybe dial it back or go quad rotor depending on how this thing handles and once we get all the parts installed we're gonna go in and do a base tune on the car like we always do on these drift builds and then uh take it out give it a little rip and see how she feels and make adjustments as we need Let's make this thing as light as possible. What are we looking at? 2400. Oof. That's a pretty light car. All right. So we're going to go full intake, full race. Apparently, I owned this stuff before. I've thrown it in this car, but never actually drove it. Full rotors, full single turbo. So it looks like we're going to get just shy of 600 horsepower. 589 that's a pretty decent horsepower band nothing super crazy no thousand horsepower anything like that but we probably will be doing a quad rotor in this thing to see how it uh sounds and to get that angry b sound the magical rotaries that is rx7s or my uh, e46 and torque drift so now let's just do a basic tune on this car i'm gonna drop some tire pressures 26 and 24 we'll leave the gearing because we're not sure the dial back that uh, camber three and one at about one there. We'll leave, we'll go two and seven. We're gonna soften it just a, just a little bit. 31, eight and 26, seven. We're gonna bump the front up one, leave the back. And we're going to soften the springs up and try and make this a bit of a soft spring car we may have to switch it depending on how the car reacts but we are on the mainlands we're not going to do towgate today we're going to be doing some street drifting something uh a little bit off the island we'll leave that there and we're going to drop this to about 45 
So that's gonna be our basic uh, tune on this car. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go send this thing out and see how it drives, and uh, well, see what happens. So we're gonna get the uh, the wheel cam turned on. We are rocking our Logitech G920, NRG Innovations Alcatara suede NRG Innovations wheel, hydraulic cam brake, normal sequence, normal uh, H pattern shifter, no sequential for today. We are on 900 degrees of rotation. None of my wheel settings have changed since my last videos. And we're just gonna send it. Off the bat, seems like it's gonna have plenty of power. Oh, it's already got enough, uh, looks like it's gonna have already enough little rear bite. Oh, this car wants to get sideways already. That was, uh, that was luck. Throw it in. Oh, apparently not fourth gear. Fourth gear is not where we want to be. Game freeze. Forza, thanks. So apparently it likes third Arrived gear. Your destination. Thanks, Anna. And for out of the box tuning. Oh, that was close. This is not handling bad at all. Put Manji down. Break in, there we go. Probably adjust our gear ratios to be a little more. Oh, um, that was not a tap. <laughs> okay. Rock face stopped us dead. I didn't think it was gonna stop us dead, but it uh, it honestly said no. You're not going anywhere. So uh. Out of the box, I think we just need to adjust the gearing a little bit. So we're gonna do that real quick. We want a little more acceleration just because I kind of want to be in fourth if possible. So we're gonna go 437. Instead of uh, doing individual gears, we'll just do the main gear. We'll see how fourth feels now. A little night street drifting in that magical rotary. I don't know if fourth gear is working yet. Oh, don't die. Oh, thought I was gonna die. There we go. Suspension does feel pretty good. I think we can go into fourth now. But I'm gonna settle down for a second because I can't remember where I am. I haven't been on the mainlands in forever. So. Now that I got my bearings straight, we're good. As we almost die there. So. I think. We may have to pop this into a quad rotor and see how it sounds and feels. I was hoping I could get all, all fancy and just let go of the wheel. A clutch kick there. I want to hit that guy. Oh, that dude didn't need his brick wall, did he? Looks like an eclipse right there. We got some guys running the uh, drift zone. A little left foot brake action to uh, keep that drift. We're gonna make some fine tweaks to this suspension. I think I may have gone the wrong, wrong way with suspension. So we're gonna stiffen it up.
and change our dampening. Soften the dampening up a little bit. And our bump stiff and rebound. Oh, that's because we have front downforce too. All right, we're gonna take downforce off. I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference, but. Now the car kind of goes right into another car. Now the car kind of flicks how I want it to, but we're gonna give it a full test as we make our way back. Just tap. Just roasting the tires. So, for being a single turbo in this car, it has a decent amount of power. It's not the fastest car. I feel like I have not done this, uh, the taxis yet. I probably should do those. Haven't been on the main land in a while, if you haven't noticed. I didn't think we were gonna make that. Kind of uh, cheat the system there. Oh, bog in fourth, but we're good. Some night uh, mini toge sessions going on on the mainlands right now. Was it? Really early initiation, but we're good. A little kick in the fourth. So I think we're gonna see what a quad rotor does to this car. So we're gonna head back to the festival, throw a quad rotor in it. The suspension does feel good now. If we weren't in the grass doing dirt drops, we would be getting points on that. Ooh, there we go. So if you guys want to keep seeing these drift builds on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below what cars you guys want to see. I will uh, do my best to try and get those done. Top 3% in that drift zone, apparently. So now we got to speed our way to the festival and... Uh, Throw a quad rotor in here and really make a lot of noise because, well, those quad rotors make so much noise, but it's going to be fun. So we're going to leave the suspension and everything how it sits, and we are just going to uh, switch it up to a quad rotor. And, uh, well... Not much more horsepower, only 719 did that say? 718. So 30 more horsepower roughly than the single turbo stock FD motor. Uh, yeah, roughly 28 horsepower or so, <clears throat> give or take. We'll see if it makes that much of a difference in this car. So we're gonna give this a uh, shake down with this motor in it and see which one we like better quad rotor ripping it out it already feels like it has a, a little more uh, a little more slideability than the fd stock fd turbo single turbo motor oh Logitech, hold together, please. The chattering of my wheel. So scary. Clutch kick. Stay fourth. So we hold it up. Clutch kick. Are you right there? Oh yeah. I think I like uh I think I like the quad rotor better. Yup. Definitely think I like this quad rotor a little bit better. I tried to get I tried to get slick. 
tried to let the Logitech do its own transition back by just letting it go. It did not work out in my favor. But we are definitely going to uh, try and run this out a little bit more. So if you guys like these drift builds and you guys want to see more, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section down below what car. Maybe, uh, oh, maybe not that. <laughs> maybe you want to see a different variation of a car I've already done. Maybe different engine types and like say a V8 S13 or S14s and stuff like that. Let me know down in the comment section. I will try my best to do as many of these drift builds as I can. Because you guys seem to enjoy these drift builds from previous episodes. So definitely going to try to do more of these drift builds. Doing in-depth looks at the cars. And all the tuning settings. That will save my life. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Tap that like button if you like the video. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support and all the comments. Oh. Some big things are coming next week to the channel, and uh, I'm super excited to so make sure you guys stay to the channel and Instagram and all that for next week. Got some big things coming. Super excited. Oh man, that was sweet. Oh jeez, how did we not die? Oh, well, so we're gonna hit these SCs up here before we end this episode off. So as always, like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support. Big thank you to all the new subscribers on the channel, over 7,000. Let's keep this climb going. I do appreciate it, every single one of you guys. So as always, like, thank you guys for watching. We just bumped that dude well out of the way. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time. I didn't think I was going to get that.